someone's having an argument. You can't hear what it's about. No, oh, it's just a woman talking to herself. London. I think that the silencing is obviously, is, I think, is a Reese's, Reese Shearsmith's creation. And I'm quite convinced that uh, in Reese's life there is a silent singer there that appears whenever he's in trouble. And uh, <laughs> he may not agree with me, of course. I don't want to say too much. You know, they're, they're blokes that have these fantasies about, and these huge imaginations. Um, and I just think Reese is one of them. Yeah, the silent singer is something... I still don't know if it's a woman or a man. The reality of the silent singer is that he actually was born in our minds, Steve and I's minds, in about 1996, I think I've got pictures of us doing it. We used to do them to each other and we lived together and shared a flat in uh, Muswell Hill. One of us would be writing and then the other one would be gone for ages and think, where's he gone? Look round and the silent singer would be there, it'd be either me or Steve, dressed in very much like we have dressed the silent singer in the series now in 2010. The teeth are particularly uh, terrifying to wear because they're too tight. Right. No, that's better, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it then. Silent singer is here. <laughs> Everybody wants to know what the hell that song is. They won't tell me. They won't tell me. They don't tell me a lot of things, actually, but I prefer it that way. It's probably something incredibly camp, knowing the boys. Something from um, Sheena Easton or something like that. Not now, silent singer! And they're the best things when you see them on TV, you think, how have they arrived at that? Where did that come from? And we'd never think to write that, sat in the uh, cold light of day writing the script. I can't say too much about Ruth. <laughs> I'd love to, but I can't. <laughs> yes. And I'm back. <laughs>